Hey everyone, welcome back to chapter 8, and today we're talking about third conjugation IO verbs in the present tense. And I will dot this J. Okay, so uh, third conjugation in third conjugation IO. Alright, so last time we talked about fourth conjugation verbs and our example was audio audire. So you might think, oh okay, the verb ends in IO, it's fourth conjugation. But remember what tells you the conjugation of a verb is the verb's infinitive. So it's the ere or the IRE that tells us that this verb is fourth conjugation. Okay, now I'm going to give you a third IO conjugation verb. And that verb is going to be copio. Okay, so it has the same IO, but the infinitive is copere, short ERE, like a third conjugation verb. Okay, so this is a third conjugation verb, but it's a third IO verb. But it's still third conjugation. So it's third conjugation. IO. Uh, so just because a verb ends in IO doesn't mean it's going to be fourth. It could be third. Think of third conjugation IO verbs as kind of like hybrid verbs. You know, they, they look like fourth conjugation, but they are actually third. And they have traits that are, that are both fourth and third conjugation. Okay, so now let's conjugate copio in the, in the active. So say active and we'll set up a chart with first, second, and third, and singular, and plural. Okay, uh, and so copio, our model verb for third IO, copio, its principal parts are copio, copere, kp, coptum, and copio, means to capture or take. All right, and so since it's a third conjugation verb, you're actually, we're actually going to take away the whole ERE and have a consonant stem like we did with third conjugation. Uh, but remember, our first principal part is also our first person singular in the active, so copio. Then I have my consonant stem because this is a third conjugation verb. Okay, and then I'm going to add in eyes. And then when I get to the uh, third plural, I'm going to add in an I and a U this time. Okay, and now I'm going to add in my ending. So I have copy O already. And then an S, so copis, and T, copit, mus, copimus, tis, copitis, and ent, copiunt. Okay, so copio, copis, copit, copimus, copitis, copiunt. And so copio uh, would be I take or capture, copis, you capture, copit, he share it captures. Uh, copimus, we capture, copitis, you all capture, and copiunt, they capture. Okay, now just for comparison's sake, uh, we're going to put audio right next to copio. Okay, so just conjugating audio in the present active. So audio, audis, audit, audimus, auditus and audiunt. Okay, so if you look at the forms, the forms are exactly the same. The only difference is that fourth conjugation has a long I in the second person and first person plural. That's audimus, auditus, aud audis, and copio or third IO verbs are short. And that's really the only difference. The forms, you can think of the forms as being exactly the same. So no matter how you think about conjugating it, you know, oh, take off the whole ERE and add I and then add IU, you could just say, well, third IO verbs look like fourth verbs, and you can, you can think about conjugating them that way. 
Okay, so that's the active. Now let's look at the passive. Okay, so we're going to set up our chart again with first, second, and third, and singular and plural. Okay, and our principal parts, we're just going to use the first two. That's all we need, copio, copere. Okay, uh, and my first principal part is going to go here in the first person singular, and I'm going to take off the ERE again to get my consonant stem. Okay, so remember how I said that uh, third IO verbs have characteristics of third and fourth conjugation? Well, they look pretty much exactly like fourth conjugation verbs in the active, but remember how in third conjugation passive we have an E here in the second person singular passive? Okay, second singular passive has an E. Okay, and for third conjugation, and that's true of third IO as well. And we have eyes, eyes, and then IU for third plural. Okay, now we're going to add in our endings. So we have copior, copiris, copiter, copimer, copimini, and copiunter. Okay, so it looks like fourth except for the in the passive. Okay, um, and so uh, when we're translating these, copior would be I am captured or taken. Caparis, you are captured. Capiter, he sheared is captured. Uh, Capimer, we are captured. Capimini, you all are captured. And Capiunter, they are captured. Okay, one more thing I want to say before we go is that the imperatives for third conjugation IO look just like third conjugation. So the imperative singular of copio would be cape, so take or capture. Okay, and we get that from the infinitive, right? Copere minus the RE gives us cape, uh, but to make it plural we take off the whole ERE and add ite. So capite would be take or capture in the plural. Cape would be singular. Okay? And that is it for third conjugation IO verbs, and thanks for tuning in.